Hello again and welcome to Camperland TV and welcome to Habitat at Noosa. This episode finds Andrew and I in our usual habitat, which is drinking beer, in the microbrewery here. Andrew, this place is amazing. It's, it's one of my favourite places ever. Heaven in a glass, I just need a beer glass. <laughs> On today's show, a fantastic weekend getaway destination full of surprises just over two hours from Brisbane. We'll profile the magnificent Jayco Silverline, take a look at a few practical additions to the van to make life so much easier. Andrew will wow us with his knowledge of brewing and we'll take a look at the magnificent Noosa Everglades and finish the show around the fire for happy hour where every good day should end. First though, another great destination if you like your country music. Welcome to the Ubobo Country Music Festival. Wow, oh, thank you! And it looks like anyone with a caravan and a penchant for a bit of country twang has answered the call. There are over 350 vans here, let alone campers, cabin dwellers, but this is a festival that sprang from humble beginnings. Tell me a little bit about the history of the, the festival. How did it all start? Uh, back in 2012, about July, from memory, uh, my friend Jack Villian, he said to me, Jeannie, I'd like to do a camp out, something with music, something that we can get every, all of our mates together and have a great weekend. So I said, that sounds awesome, let's do it. And he said, there's a place out at, in the Boyne Valley called the Discovery Centre, he said, and I think that'll be a really great place to have it. So that was in 2012. So I bet the Discovery Centre looked a bit different to how it looks today. <laughs> Most certainly. <laughs> what did it look like back then? <laughs> Well, there was nothing on the ground, of course. Yeah. Absolutely nothing, just this blank area. But yeah. it's used for different um, things through the year. They have a lot of events here. These days, there are food vans and local fundraising groups that'll look after your tummy for the weekend and keep you out of the van kitchen and in front of the stage. And when it comes to food for the soul, well, you can't go past some good old bush poetry, served up by some of the best in the business. On the brink I'd hover. Then he'd give a sudden snort. My eyes would snap wide open and my sleep would come to naught. Ubobo's other claim to fame is it's the town that fought off Telstra and saved its only telephone box. Now, if you're under the age of 30, you might be wondering what this structure is. It's called a phone box. And many years ago, there was one of these on just about every corner across the country. You don't see many of them these days. And this one in Ubobo, well, it's, it's famous. So I better take a photo of it. Now, it may not seem like a big deal to city slickers, but if you ask any Ubobo resident, it was worth fighting for. The box is still here and working. It's part of the town's charm. This is a town that warmly welcomes visitors all year round. There is free and paid camping, hotel and dorm style accommodation, excellent fishing at Boyndale, a general store, post office, church, sporting grounds and great annual events like the Country Music Festival. G'day, Dan here, Brisbane Camperland. Today we're going to show you through the Jayco 2165-3 Outback Silverline, one of the world's most technologically advanced caravans. Follow me. The Jayco 2165-3 Outback Silverline. Jayco's flagship caravan. It is our biggest, it is our best. Fiberglass exterior, so she looks beautiful in white. All right, but you don't want to see what's outside. You want to see what's in here. Oh, all right, guys. Here you have it. The club lounge in the Jayco 2165-3 Silverline. Obviously, loads of room, leather. Telescopic table. Now this table spins. In the kitchen area, we've got the New York tile splashback, and then four burner oven, and the big 218 litre fridge. The biggest fridge that we do in any of our caravans. This is the heart and the home of the caravan. Obviously you've got nice big skylights, lets loads of light in with all these windows as well. Space is massive in these vans, okay? You've got the slide out bed area, the whole bed section slides out to give you that space. Aircon is standard obviously, likewise the two Sirocco fans are standard in the Outback model. And then we have the full separate ensuite in the Jayco Silverline, one of the biggest shower compartments we do in any of our caravans. Matte black finishing in the tapware and the sink, plus you get your 3.3 kilo washing machine in there as well. The Jayco 2165-3 Outback Silverline, obviously one of our most popular sellers. Come down and see us, we'll absolutely do everything we can to get you into one of these as quick as possible. 
Now I'll pass you back to Dean, who's always on holiday. The Silver Line is our van of choice for this weekend, a five-star van for a five-star destination. Almost before we've levelled up and unfilled the awning, the welcoming party have arrived. Hi, Dean. Welcome to Habitat Noosa. I've got to say, good coffee and camping don't normally mix. It's pretty hard to get a, a good uh, flat white when you're you know, roughing it. But it seems to me that Habitat Noosa um, expands on the joy of everything. It's a beautiful place. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's a pleasure to, to be here and obviously work here. And It's a great environment. We, we're just so lucky. It's beautiful, like the lake just over here. Noose is about 12 k's down the road. It's just amazing. You know, you wake up in the morning and it's such a peaceful, tranquil place. And that's why people love to come here. It's just, you know, ticks all of the boxes. Tell me a bit about the facilities here, because you've really ramped it up a bit, haven't you? So we have allocated, unallocated camping. For those that like the mod cons of home and a little bit of luxury, we've got the luxury glamping tents as well. Yeah. So. And you can do as little or as much as you want. You've got, it's not just, um, you know, the campsite, you've got tours right through the Noosa Everglades. The main draw card, I think, with Habitat Noosa would be the Everglades. There's only two in the world, so we're lucky enough to have one here right on our doorstep. And we run full day and afternoon cruises up to there. I mean, we cater for all families, you know, couples, anyone that wants to come and see, you know, the amazing nature and wildlife that we've got here. Um, the full day tour will take people up to uh, what we call the uh, River of Mirrors. The tannin or the uh, tea tree in the oil really turns the water once you're in that Everglades system to that really dark, uh, you know, mirror system. And um, you can choose to do a cruise and canoe and just cruising through those, um, that beautiful water and just seeing uh, all of the fauna and flora and the birds and it's just a completely amazing experience. We have guests that have travelled all around the world and they definitely rank the Everglades tours up there with one of the best things they've ever done. So if there was one thing um, anyone looking at coming to, to Noosa should do is to, to do the Everglades yeah. tour for sure. The great thing about Habitat Noosa is uh, even if you're here for a short stay, you just really reset. Um, it, you know, it's the main things that you want to get out of a holiday or a, um, a, a trip away is getting back to nature and just feeling really relaxed and you know, yeah. heading back home. You know, it's it's a great place. <laughs> One of the really cool things that they have here at Habitat is a microbrewery. Now, grower fisher chef Andrew Mirosh has done a lot in his life, but I'm not sure that he's ever brewed a beer. What an amazing setup. You know, tell me about the beer. What, what makes it special or unique? So we base our beer off artesian water, which we get off the property, yeah. um, which then goes through a few filters, which comes back up to here. Um, we're a wort-based brewery. The water part is amazing because it makes it unique. It can't be reproduced anywhere else except right here on this property, I guess. So. Yeah, to a point, you know, like it comes straight out of the ground and straight straight up to here. And What you know, what sort of styles of beer are you, you um, making? So our four staple beers, which are on all year round, are the XPA, yep. we've got a pale, we've got a lager, and we've yep. got a mid lager. I love it all. I'm just so. beer, is, beer is my life. Yeah. <laughs> i got to say, it's the last thing I expected when I came here to find a my favourite of brewery. Why would you put a microbrewery in here of all places? I guess the owners love their beer. Yeah. Um, they've been doing their tours up and down past this place property for years and years and years and they decided that they wanted to buy it and they kind of introduced both. So they've yeah. got the brewery and also the campground. What a surprise to you guys here. The beers arrived and you two are sitting here waiting for it. <laughs> Typical. Mate, come on mate. You know, you can't have all the fun to yourself. I do, I'm on my second, so it's good. How good is this place? Yeah, fantastic, look, what a spot. Wade's always been a bit of a doyen in the tourist space up here, because all the coast has been around for years, you know, he's been doing trips to Fraser Island, but to get this thing on the map here, you know, like Katharaba, it's absolutely brilliant. Amazing job, it's got a restaurant so you can eat here, it's got a, my, one of my favourite things, a microbrewery yeah. and a bar, and, yeah. you know. And that saying go. that they used to say about you, Andrew, that you know, that you couldn't organise a drink in a brewery? Yeah, I it's absolutely not true. <laughs> Cheers. 
Accessorising anything normally adds to its operation, so here are three items that will take a lot of pain away when next you're heading out in the van. Chocks. There is nothing more frustrating than cooking in your van when it's not level. Oh, in fact, yes there is. Sleeping in it. And your three-way fridge will work a lot more efficiently when your van is level. Towing mirrors. Don't scrimp. The bigger they are, the better you'll feel knowing that you're keeping an eye on things back there. A van cover. Keep your pride and joy safe and protected. When it comes time to trade up to a new van, your old one will be looking good and worth more at resale. Habitat Noosa is a stone's throw from Boreen Point, which I might add has one of the prettiest old pubs in the state. And after a rinse or two, it's back to Habitat proper for a catch up around the fire. If you'd like more info on Habitat Noosa, head to their website for details on bringing the van and staying for a few days. The Jayco Silverline is the high roller of the Jayco range and Brisbane Camperland can help you out there. Next time, beach fishing for greenbacks. It's tailor season. We'll see you then. <laughs>